so today we want to show you how to perform a firmware update on your Nova X350 so that you can have the latest and greatest uh, firmware on there with all the new features that we have to offer. Uh, right now this is version 1.5 but this will work for any uh, future version as well and so we want to show you how to do that. In order to do that then you're going to need to download two things. You're going to need to download our iLoader uh, software and then you're also going to need to download the firmware version itself. So here are the things that we're going to need in order to do this process. Number one, you're going to need a Windows based computer. So whether it's Windows 7, 8, or 10, and even I believe XP uh, does not really matter and the process will be pretty similar for each one. You're also going to need your Nova X350 and then you're also going to need a micro USB to standard USB cable. And so what we're going to do is walk you through this process. Uh, here you can see we've got our Windows computer pulled up and running. And what we're going to do, the first thing we need to do is go to our web browser. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go up top here and we're just going to input our website www.rclogger.com and here it takes us to our website. And what we want to do is get to the product page of the Nova X350. So we're going to scroll down and here you can see it says RCI Nova X350. We're going to click on that. And right now we have this page which is more of an informational uh, page that just kind of showcases all the features and functions of the Nova X350 and the things that we're implementing. So we're going to scroll down and go to the bottom of this page. Here it says tell me more. We're going to click on that and that will bring you to here which is the product information pages for the different versions of the Nova X350. Most everyone has the ready to fly version right now so we're going to click on that and we're going to scroll down here and as we scroll down the page you'll see then we have a section of tabs here where there's a description, there's features, there's specs, there's an accessories tab. Uh, these are great ways to find everything that you need uh, for the Nova X350 and also just learn a little bit more about the Nova X350 if you're interested in purchasing haven't yet purchased. So uh, we're going to scroll through here. On the very end you'll see it says downloads and that's the one we want to click on. Now this is not just for the Nova X350 but for any of our products if you're ever looking for important uh, literature information or if there's a firmware update or a software update for that product this is where you want to go. Go to that product page and find the downloads tab and click on it. So we're going to click on it and I just want to show you real quick everything that is in here. Uh, there's all the video tutorial series, the uh, manuals in here, the quick start guide, even links for getting to the iOS and Android app. So everything is right here at your fingertips, right here at your disposal. Uh, the two things you're going to want to download out of here is the iLoader software and then also the latest firmware version. Now you can see you're not seeing those anywhere on this page right now. That's because we haven't released them to the public yet when making this video. However, by the time you see this video, then uh, it will be here on the page and you'll be able to find those download links. So all you're going to do is go to this download tab and look for the iLoader software and also the latest firmware version for the Nova X350. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize because I've already have those downloaded to this computer. So the next thing we're going to do is go to wherever we have stored the downloads that we have just done. Most people will be your download folder but um, just go to wherever it is that you have access to those. So for me I'm going to go to my download section and here you can see both the files that we just downloaded uh, from the RC Logger website. Uh, here's the setup for the iLoader software. You'll need to do an installation of the software just as you would any standard software on a Windows computer. And then here is the firmware file for the Nova X350. I'm going to go ahead and drag mine and put it over here on my desktop just so I have easy access to it. Your next step is going to be to click on this, to double click on it in order to begin to start the process of doing the software install. Uh, I would show you this process but my uh, screen blinks out when I'm trying to do a screen recording and do a software install. So you'll just need to follow the steps. They're very basic, the same as doing any installation. And then make sure at the end to check on the add desktop icon shortcut if you want uh, easy access to it in the future. So let's go through that. Just go ahead and install the software and then we'll come back. I'll have it on my desktop and we'll take you to the next step. All right, so here you can see we've got iLoader now installed to our desktop shortcut. You don't have to put one there, but if you want to, uh, 
um, to have easy access, then you can do that. Uh, but all we want to do now is uh, I'm going to open this real quick just to show you what it says right now. As you can see, I've opened it and everything's there, but it's giving me a status of not connected. It's telling me what to do. Connect your Nova X via USB port to your computer. Press and hold the button on the Nova X main board until it is connected. So the next step we're going to do is show you how to connect your Nova X 350 to your computer so that you can put the firmware on there. All right, so step one of the process to get your Nova X connected to your computer and upgrade the firmware on it is safely removing the canopy. Remember, you've got these two tabs, one on each side. You're just going to gently pull up. And remember, you've got this cable that goes to the GPS and LED board on the top. So we want to be careful about that cable. And then we're just going to gently lay this here. All right, so next up is we need to get to the micro USB port in order to do the firmware update. Now on mine, I have the uh, retracts installed, so I'm going to need to remove that piece. Uh, but also, too, what you're going to want to do is going to remove the negative and positive of this motor. Um, you really can get away with just the negative, but I like removing both. That way, if a motor doesn't start, I know why. So um, now you have full access to that port. All right, so now that we can access the port, the next thing is to plug the micro USB directly in. You want to kind of hold on to the board. Don't put too much pressure on it. That way, um, nothing gets pulled and it's in and we're ready to go. All right, so one thing that I did want to mention is the reason we plug this into the port here first versus into the computer is when you're plugging into the computer, you actually want to press down this button here, the little black button and that puts it in the mode to update the firmware. And so it makes it a lot easier to do it that way than trying to plug in here and press the button at the same time. So we're here, we've got the micro USB plugged in. All we're gonna do is press down this button as we plug this into our computer and just plug this into a USB port on your computer and then you can release. And now we're in business and you will be able to do your firmware upgrade. So that sound that you just heard is the sound that you want to hear because that is an indication that you have connected your Nova X to your computer and that it's reading it well. So now all we got to do is simply open the iLoader software. So let's click on it again. And now you'll see the status has changed and is showing connected rather than not connected, which means it has uh, it's getting the signal from the Nova X350 and you're ready to upload the firmware. It's as simple as clicking on the browse button and then finding your firmware file, which for me is right here on my desktop. I'm just going to click on it and click open and then just click firmware upload. And down here you'll see there's a status bar that will take you through the process to let you know that you've completed it and you'll also get a pop-up notification as well to let you know that everything has been successfully done. So let's just wait for it to finish real quick. And there you go. It says success upgrade completed. All you need to do is hit OK. You can go ahead and close out iLoader and then scroll down here and let's go ahead and make sure that we eject uh, the STM32 bootloader just to make sure we do it safe to remove the hardware. And that's it. Now let's move back to the Nova X350 and put everything back in its place and then we'll come back and finish up. All right, so now we've got the unit plugged in and we've upgraded the firmware. Everything is done and completed. So now the next step is to remove the micro USB. Again, just kind of hold on to the board so that you're not pulling on anything and just work that out. And then you want to make sure that you put your uh, positive and negative back in for this motor. And then also, too, if you've got the retracts installed, go ahead and reinstall that. Make sure everything is in the right place. And then you're just going to re-put your canopy back on and you are in business and ready to go fly with your new uh, upgraded firmware. All right, so that's it. It's a super simple, super quick process. And once you've got it down once, then it's really hard to forget how to do it the next time. So when we have a new firmware, you already have the iLoader software on your computer 
That'd be just as quick as going and grabbing the newest firmware and putting it in there and hitting the upgrade button and you're done and ready to go. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, then please visit us at rclogger.com. We have a great forum there. You can also open a ticket with us at support.rclogger.com and we'll be glad to answer any questions. We really appreciate it and we hope you enjoy your Nova X 350.